Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete a Linux VM in Azure using Terraform. I have logged into my Azure portal. Let's check whether I have any virtual machine already exist in my account. No, there is no virtual machine. We are going to use Terraform to create the virtual machine. So for that, let us first review the documentation. I'm referring to the Azure RM Linux virtual machine documentation. So for creating the Linux virtual machine, first we need to create the resource group, virtual network, subnet, and the network interface. Actually, in this example, they have not uh, given information about creating a public IP, but in the demo, I'm going to create a public IP. And then the, we will be creating the Linux virtual machine, which will make use of all these other resources which we create. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code Editor for adding the Terraform configuration files. So Terraform expects all the configuration files to have an extension .tf. You can see already there is a providers.tf file. I have added the information related to the what provider we have to install as well as the other credentials which are required by Terraform to talk to Azure and create the resources. Please refer to my previous video on creating a service principle on how to register an app and generate all these necessary credentials. Now I'm going to create a new file main.tf and add the necessary resource blocks in that. First, I'm going to add the resource group. In this main.tf file, I'm going to add the resource blocks necessary for creating a Linux virtual machine. So I'm going to refer all these resources using the single name. Uh, so I'm going to call it as a Linux VM. Now let's give the name for the resource group, VM group, and then we need to give the location. Location I'm going to give us East US. So the next resource, what we are going to add is the virtual network. Virtual network. So again, we'll give the resource the same name because this is the resource type and the name is used to identify the resource in this file. Since we are creating everything for the same resource, I'm just using the same name. Again, we need to give a name. This is a virtual network, so I'm going to give the name as VNet. And then we need to specify the resource group name. need to give the location so we'll give the location the same as the resource group then we need to give the address space okay so now we have added all the necessary details required for creating the Azure virtual network so next we will add create the subnet Give the name of the subnet as uh, subnet1 and then again we need to give the resource group name then we need to give the virtual network name then we need to give the address prefixes So we have added the necessary information for creating the subnet resource module also. Now let us add a public IP because I would want to show how you will be able to create a public IP and access the virtual machine from the local system. give a name public IP then we need to give the resource group name
okay next we need to give the location then we need to give the allocation method so we will specify as a static okay so we have added the necessary information for creating a azure public ip so now let's add the next resource which is going to be the network interface we need to give the name for the network interface so then we need to give the resource group name location then we need to give the ip configuration so as part of the ip configuration again we need to give a name so we will give it as internal then we need to give us private ip address allocation we we'll call it as dynamic then we need to give the subnet id which is going to be um, subnet dot vm dot id Next, let's give the public IP address ID, which is going to be Azure RM public IP dot nextvm dot before creating the network interface we want the virtual network and the public ip to be created so let's add the depends on and specify that we want the virtual network and then we want the public ip also to be created So we have added the depends on so now we have added the necessary information for creating the azure rm network interface module now let's add the virtual machine the next virtual machine so we need to give the name for the virtual machine so i'm going to just call it as linux vm then again location so we'll take it from the resource group dot location and the resource group name this group dot name then we need to give the size let's give it as standard f2 then we need to give the network interface ids interface dot id so then we need to get the os disk caching caching we will give it as read write then the storage account type we will give it as LRS. So it's the image reference. First, we'll get the publisher. Then we need to get the of 
Opa. Bandusrova. Then we need to give the skew, which is going to be team dot zero four dot LDS. Then we need to give the portion, which I'm going to give us latest. Okay. Here again we need to provide the admin username. So I'm going to give it as Linux admin. And then for this demo purpose, I'm just going to use the admin password. So I'll give the password as admin123. Uh, so ideally it is always recommended to use the SSH key. So but just for this demo purpose, I'm showing you how to use the admin password. So and then now we need to add an additional uh, one and more field because we we are trying to use the password so there is another attribute called disable password authentication but by default that is true so we need to set it to false okay so now we have added all the information which is needed for creating a linux virtual machine now let's do a terraform in it it is looking for the provider plugin so now it's installing the HashiCorp Azure RM version 3.5.0. Terraform in it is successful. Now let us execute the Terraform format and format the file. So the file is already formatted. So no changes done. Now let's do a Terraform validate and validate the configuration. The configuration is valid. Now do let's do a Terraform plan. The Terraform plan actually creates an execution plan. So it provides an information on what all resources Terraform is going to create, delete or update when the Terraform apply command is executed. Terraform uses the Terraform TF state file. So where it has the information about the existing environment configuration and it compares with the new configuration request based on that it creates an execution plan. So you can clearly see we were trying to create six resources it is providing the information about what it will be created you can see the plus sign plus sign indicates it is going to create the resources also it says it will be created it is going to create the linux virtual machine it is going to create the network interface it is going to create the public ip it is going to create the resource group subnet virtual network so it is saying it is going to create six resources now let us execute terraform plan terraform apply also creates an execution plan and then it asks for the approval let's provide the approval it is creating resource group it has successfully created resource group and now it is creating the public ip and the virtual network so it has successfully created the public ip and even it has successfully created the virtual network now it is creating the subnet it has successfully created the subnet and now it is creating the network interface so the network interface also has been successfully created and now it is creating the virtual machine it has successfully created the linux virtual machine also you can clearly see here it says apply completed resources six added let us go and validate that in the azure portal virtual machines let's refresh and clearly we could see the new linux vm which we created using the terraform we could see in the azure portal so this is the ip address let's copy the ip address let's try and access the vm from the local system so we have given the user address linux admin the ip click yes give the password Now we have successfully logged into the Linux VM what we created. Now let us go and delete all the resources what we have created using the Terraform, using the Terraform destroy command. Terraform destroy. Terraform destroy also creates an execution plan. So it uses the PF state and get the information about the existing environment configuration and then it compares with the 
request in our case we just created six resources and now we are asking to destroy all the six resources so it is going to create an execution plan for destroying all the six resources which currently exist in the environment okay so as expected it has created the execution plan and you can clearly see it is going to delete destroy those resources which we created some time back the minus sign indicates it's going to delete you can see it is going to delete the virtual machine it's going to delete the network interface public ip resource group subnet virtual network okay so here you can clearly see it says six to destroy and it is asking for the approval let's provide the approval it is destroying the virtual machine first the linux virtual machine has been successfully deleted so now it is destroying the network interface successfully deleted the network interface and now it is dis now it is deleting the subnet and the public ip so subnet and the public ip has been successfully deleted so now it is destroying the virtual network so virtual network also has been successfully deleted now it is deleting the resource group it has successfully completed destroying all the six resources now let's go to the azure portal and validate that click all resources we could see all the resources which got created as part of the linux vm creation has been successfully deleted in this demo we have seen how to create and delete a linux virtual machine using terraform if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo